Good afternoon. I am Deacon Phil DeNovo with the Daily Reflection from the Catholic Parishes of Sandusky for this Friday in the fourth week of Easter, May 8, 2020. In today's Gospel from John, chapter 14, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I'd like to share with you now a meditation from In Conversation with God, Volume 2, by Father Francis Fernandez, published by Scepter Publishers. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life for each person, the Gospel of today's Mass tells us. In knowing Him, we know the purpose of life and of all things. Our life is an ongoing journey towards Him. It is the Gospel we must learn the supreme knowledge of Jesus Christ how to imitate him and follow in his footsteps. St. Jose Maria Escrava says that in order to learn from him, we must try to know his life, reading the gospel and meditating on the scenes of the New Testament, in order to understand the divine meaning of his life on earth. In our own life, we must reproduce Christ's life. We need to come to know him by reading and meditating on Scripture. We want to identify ourselves with our Lord, our daily living to be a reflection of Him. Escriva also says that to be Christ Himself, we must see ourselves in Him. It's not enough to have a general idea of the spirit of Jesus' life. We have to learn the details of His life and through them His attitudes. Especially, we must contemplate His life and from it derive strength, light, serenity, and peace. When you love someone, you want to know all about him, his life, and his personality, so as to become like him. That is why we have to meditate on the life of Jesus, from his birth in a stable, right through to his death and resurrection. We should read the gospel with a longing to know him, so as to love him, We can't read scripture as though it were just another book. In the sacred books, the Father who is in heaven comes lovingly to meet his children and talks with them. Prayer has to accompany our reading because we know that God is the principal author of those books. In them, and in the Gospels in particular, we find food for the soul and a pure and lasting font of spiritual life. We should listen to the gospel, St. Augustine writes, as though Christ were present and talking to us. We shouldn't say, those who knew him in real life were very fortunate, for many of those who knew him did in fact crucify him, and many who did not know him believed in him. The words which our Lord spoke were written down. They have been safeguarded and preserved for us. To read and meditate on the gospel fruitfully, We have to do so with faith, knowing that it contains the truths of salvation and contains them without error. We also have to read it with piety and holiness of life. The Church, with the help of the Holy Spirit, has preserved intact and free from all error the priceless treasure of our Lord's life and doctrine. By meditating on it, we can easily draw close to Him and strive to become saints. We will discover the intimate truths contained in those books only insofar as we desire to be saints. Only thus will we taste the divine fruit which they contain. Do we truly appreciate this tremendous treasure which we have so readily to hand? Are we trying to grow in knowledge and love for the sacred humanity of our Lord each day through our gospel reading? And finally, do we ask the Holy Spirit to help us each time we begin reading the gospel. Through this reflection, Father Francis reminds us with those quotes from St. Jose Maria Escrava and St. Augustine that it is by spending time reading the gospels that we come to know Jesus, who is the way, who is the truth, and who is the life. It is by developing this personal relationship with Jesus that we will come to know the Father. So today... Let us all pick up our Bibles and spend time with Jesus by reading and meditating on his life, death, and resurrection. Have a wonderful weekend.